Aperture. I'm Denise Wolf. I am an editor, a senior editor here at Aperture, and um, we're talking about Feast for the Eyes. So Feast for the Eyes, the story of food and photography, is exactly that. We're looking at the subject matter of food through the history of photography. And this is a really great time to look at food photography because photography is actually part of the dining experience itself now, where people are taking pictures of their food and sharing it on the spot. In fact, restaurants are now building in more time so that people can do this, and plating has become a really big thing that maybe it wasn't in the past. The book runs chronologically from William Henry Fox Talbot till now, and we look at certainly the history of still life and art photography. We are also looking at how food's been photographed in vernacular photographs, in fashion photographs, in cookbooks, a range of different ways in which food has appeared in photographs. Food itself is never just about food. It's political, it's about power, it's about health, it's about strength. It's about pleasure. It can be about status. And on one hand, it's the basis of activities. And on the other, it's part of our culture and celebrations and religion. So there's a sense of very low culture and high culture. And I think you see that with an artist like Vic Muniz and the um, peanut butter and jelly Mona Lisa, where he's playing on the height of culture being the Mona Lisa and rendered in peanut butter and jelly, this very American, kind of sticky, childlike medium. Food can often even stand in for a nation. You know this picture of Stephen Shores uh, is taken in America, whereas this picture by Martin Parr is taken in England, and you know it at a glance. Food can also be about poverty or excess. Um, it's definitely about consumption, and pictures of food can be a stand-in for sex and desire, gender. They can be about hope or despair. They can be a site of control and protest. They can reinforce stereotypes and also undermine them. They can also personalize a concept like war or conflict and really drive it home. So almost as soon as you take a picture of food, it is not just about food, it's about something larger. And so that's why this book is so interesting. It crosses over so many different um, areas that touch our lives personally.